This is Pat Gunn. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. So, the only thing I did between this and my last run is that I waited until uh, d uh, day broke because that improves uh, the visibil uh, visibility in the video. And because I am playing through for the benefit of my viewers, it's probably more important than uh, it's. I should take into account your vis uh, visibility while playing. So anyhow, we kill the dragon in an excessively long sight. Hey, let's uh, cast Muffle because it is a very effective skill at, uh, at leveling illusion and eventually we want to learn the invisibility spell. And I think up there we can actually see uh, in dark, that's the place marker for where we're trying to go, but there's also a mine nearby. So let's make a quick detour and mark this mine on, uh, on our map. Stone Hills. Okay, we're not going to head inside. We just want to know where this is. And got a butterfly wing, which is handy. And we just uh, leveled illusion enough to level uh, to level up our character. Let's spend this on health. Um, I'm going to spend my point on enchanting. I haven't been doing a lot of enchanting yet, but the thing about enchanting, unless you're doing stuff with weapons. And I normally don't, because if you enchant your weapons... So enchanting other types of gear, the enchantment just stays on forever. Enchanting weapons, every time you hit somebody with, uh, with your weapon, the enchantment weakens a little bit, and you need to get more soul gems to recharge it. So I don't normally bother. But in any case, uh, yeah, I... Enchanting doesn't get exciting until you get it at a, a much higher level or until you really start getting some more powerful soul gems than I have right now. But you still want to spend the time uh, Okay, so these are some ruins. Hoping that's safe to just pop in here and loot this chest. I have nine lockpicks left. Okay, it almost turned all the way, so it's got to be somewhere near here. Sweet. Only wasted one chest. That's 60 gold. Well, good enough. And looks like that's a sacrificial table of some sort. Wow, nice. So we're going to keep on going ahead. So I was wrong initially about having found what uh, our, our destination on the mini-map, but... Oh. So it looks like civilization has been here at some point. But this time I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Up ahead we can see that the unfound place marker is... Uh, it overlaps completely with... Uh, with the quest marker. So, yeah. This is up and coming, our destination. Now, those might be bandits. But. There's always a chance that they're friendly. Oh, except not. Not in this case. So we're going to run back and see if we can get some of them with bows before we have to engage in close combat. Largely because... Oh, these guys are undead. They were raised by that wizard. Unfortunately, there's three of them. Fortunately, they're kind of weak. 
Okay, we're gonna switch to our sword at this point. And if we kill the necromancer, then... Then the guy who raised them, or then... Yeah, they should just uh, die immediately, which is pretty handy. And they still have gear for us, which is great. So, eventually you're going to uh, have uh, have summoning spells, and you'll be using that ability to distract monsters from you, well, distract enemies from you. If you're going to do that, you often will just want to hang back and let your, uh, let your summons take care of uh, the combat to whatever extent is possible. That NPC was pretty dumb and discharged right at me. Okay, so this is our destination. And this is where the horn of uh, Jurgen Windcaller is. So the soundtrack to Skyrim is by a composer by the name of, uh, I think, Jeremy uh, Soule. Ooh, more people to loot that we don't even have to bother killing. Sweet. Definitely going to need some more light here, though. So it looks like they have a bandit problem. And there's definitely some hostile baddies up ahead. Oh, and they're fighting each other. So that's another one of the cool things about the game. And that oftentimes enemies will spend a lot of effort fighting each other. And if you're smart, you can just sit back and let them... Uh, let them do that. Enemies also will heal themselves. Always focus on necromancers first because often their uh, their allies are just uh, dead bodies that they've raised, and if you kill them, then they will uh, die too. More stuff to carry. Still more stuff to carry. At this point in the game, we're probably... Oh, there's another... Uh, another foe right up ahead, and he is being stupid, which is pretty cool because... You may be the master of the arcane, but you're not that clever, dude. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is finish looting this room and head back to town. Some bread. A gourd! A holy gourd! and uh, sell some of this stuff, and then we'll fast travel back here. Okay, so we're getting, yeah, pretty shy on carrying capacity. We have 11 more pods left that we can manage. And we're full, I believe. Well, just about full. Okay. So yeah, this happens pretty often at this, uh, this point in the game. Since we're still at the point where we're kind of desperate for, um, for funds, later on you get a little bit less desperate, although as I said, money remains important uh, throughout the entire game. But early on, you're just going to grab basically everything except the really, really lousy stuff. 
like the driver weapons. Grab everything uh, that's not lousy and take it back to town to sell it. This is actually a bit of a hike. We're going to go to uh, Whiterun. Hopefully we'll arrive in the day. Once we're done selling this stuff, then we'll uh, we'll wrap up the uh, this Let's Play. Since it's a uh, it's a good enough accomplishment that we've uh, managed to kill the dragon and make it to where we're going and get started. This is a pretty cool staff. Sweet, still daytime, still enough time to sell stuff. Let's see if we can improve anything before we sell it. No. Can we improve any weapons before we sell them? No. Okay. We'll follow her inside. So one other thing that we're going to do is see if we can by an ingot of or a column from her. Because if she has any, then we can use it to improve our orcish sword, which was a very lucky find earlier. Let's see. If this is worse than what we have. It's usually useful to keep uh, a pickaxe around because occasionally you'll find uh, veins uh, in the walls of some dungeons that you're going to want to uh, that you're going to want to mine. Selling this because it's heavy armor. Okay, so this leather armor is actually better than what we have. Stay sharp. I don't the finest weapons in armor. Okay, so we can sell our old light armor. Did we sell all the weapons that we want to sell? Yeah. Thanks for the business. And we will step outside. And uh, we use the tanning rack with any of the pelts that we gathered. All the items in this category are from uh, from that mod, but. Let's see. So we can improve the leather armor, giving us a little bit more armor, uh, or a little bit higher of an armor rating, which is always helpful. And let's see if we can improve our orcish sword. Yep, do a little bit more damage. Every little bit uh, helps. Okay. So at this point, we don't have. So we do have some boots to sell. They're not worth a lot. We have some items to disenchant, which we'll have to head up to the castle for. And we have some new alchemy ingredients that we're going to use to uh, to see if we can make any useful potions. So, are there any ingredients we haven't sampled yet? We haven't sampled Canis Root. We're not going to sample Nern Root until we finish that quest. We haven't sampled Whitecap. Let's see what we can make. Yep, we definitely need more, uh, more restoring of health. We're taking a lot of uh, damage here.
Might as well uh, work on those just to We can sell some of these for mana, or I mean uh, for gold. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Yes, I am an alchemist. Not a particularly good one, but definitely an alchemist. So throughout the uh, some of the more unusual concoctions that you can make, they um, they'll have both positive and negative effects uh, on you if you use them on yourselves. And if you shoot enemies uh, with with them or poison a weapon, then they'll get the positive effects of whatever poisons you use too. So you have to be uh, have to be uh, mindful of that. Ah, so she will buy a lot of our unneeded junk, including our dragon bones and scales. So we now actually have a reasonable supply of a uh, reasonable amount of money now. We're going to go sell our boots next door in the general goods store. And we're also going to visit, I think his name is Farnkar. He's the court wizard. Okay. Sell the boots, more boots. And we're gonna definitely sell one of these sets of necromancer robes. It, these are for magicka regeneration, yeah. Because we're basically just bringing with us the stuff that might be uh, the stuff that has enchantments uh, on it that we might not have uh, learned yet. Since I don't normally like to keep track of those things, kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, that preacher guy is pretty irritating. So morality is uh, kind of uh, weird weird thing in, in the Skyrim games. And I've generally played a middle ground between seeing it as as a universe where I don't have to think about moral morality and ones where I do. Or and one where I do. In real life I of course don't kill people or steal their stuff or anything like that. Uh, but in Skyrim there are a lot of morally ambiguous situations and a lot of areas where there are quests which are downright nasty immoral. And uh, particularly the Daedric uh, quests, I just do a subset of them, ones that are less than uh, utterly awful. Oh, so nothing I can disenchant since apparently I know all these enchantments. I don't generally mind stealing in uh, in Skyrim. I'll do that if I can get away with it. But a lot of the nastier uh, quests... Where is the court wizard? Ah, there he is. I wonder if I can buy and sell stuff. I guess I am allowed to have wine. What do you need, I think? Come to Dragon's Reach. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. I try, uh, try to avoid the nastier... Um, ethical choices that you can make in the game. Okay, so what was I going to do? Fast healing. This is a much better healing spell. We'll... Are there any other th things that I need here? Calm is kind of useful. You can save your butt but unfortunately, a lot of the illusion uh, spells, they're not that useful you know, unless you're moderately... Uh, unless you have a lot of the perks that 
improve the level range on monsters that you can use uh, use them against. So we're, we're going to stop using the healing spell, start using the fast healing spell. It's just that much, uh, that much better. It instantly heals, uh, once you finish casting it, it instantly heals the, uh, that certain amount of health, so you don't need to keep on holding down the casting. Okay, so we're just about ready to head back to that dungeon. Let me make sure that I'm not carrying anything that I don't really need. And then we'll, uh, we'll fast travel back there and that'll be the end of this uh, Let's Play. Okay, so I don't have any weapons that I don't need. I like to keep a pickaxe on me. And woodcutter's axe, you normally only need it in cities and a few isolated places in the wilderness. If I had a place to stash stuff, I wouldn't be carrying it with me. I would just have one stashed because woodcutter's axes, they're kind of hard to come by. But because I don't have anywhere to put this stuff, uh, I'll be bringing it with me, and I guess I really don't need the wooden plate. So I'll just drop but it Lord here. Is the next man, but I'm no fool. I don't live in the past, okay, so I am ready to fast travel back. And at this point, I'm going to start being a little bit more careful with the uh, stuff that I pick up. Um, I'll generally try to avoid uh, bringing stuff with me that has a uh, weight profit efficiency of less than, say, five. Meaning that, yeah, so the iron mace here, it has a weight of 13. 13 times five is uh, 65 and its value is less than 65, so I'll try not to bring it with me. 6 times 5 is 30. This has a value of 50. It qualifies. Hide boots and hide bracers both qualify as things that I'll bring with me. Later on uh, in the game, you might actually prefer not to pick up stuff that has a weight profit efficiency of less than 10 but I'm not nearly at the point where I'm regularly encountering stuff that's uh, that profitable. So that's the end of this Let's Play. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>